This is cannon fire, and it's a great demonstration to show how much energy you can release from even a small amount of ethanol. It's a very simple experiment, but it can be quite messy, so you're not going to want to use your best equipment. If you're the kind of chemistry teacher who likes to keep nice, clean, white, heatproof mats for when your mother-in-law comes around, then you might want to leave them in the cupboard. I'm protecting the desk here with a number of different heatproof mats. I've actually made uh, two layers thick around here to try and capture and cover up all of the gaps between the mats and I've even actually got another tile in the middle. This is just because a fair amount of liquid has the potential to spill out as you're doing this demonstration. Only a few chemicals are needed. You're going to need 20 volt hydrogen peroxide and I've got 30 milliliters here and you're also going to need 20 milliliters of ethanol. Last but not least, the potassium permanganate here is going to give the reaction the kick it needs. It's important when you're actually starting off with this demonstration that you put in the hydrogen peroxide first. Okay, if you follow up with the ethanol, then when the ethanol is on top, it's going to be a lot easier to light. You're going to want to now stand back and light this with a splint. The splint's going to give you a little bit of extra distance between yourself and the flame, which can be actually hard to see. And it's almost invisible. Okay, but I can actually see that this is light lit in this case. So our flame's lit now and we're ready to start the reaction. Okay, all I need to do is add about 0.5 grams of potassium permanganate at arm's length, making sure that both myself and the audience are protected by safety screens. After it's been added to the mixture, the potassium permanganate reacts with the hydrogen peroxide to release oxygen, which accelerates the burning of the ethanol. This produces the bangs and flashes and pops that we're actually seeing during the reaction. Different crystal sizes of permanganate can affect the size and the frequency of the flashes and pops that you're getting. It's really important that you don't deviate from the amounts that are prescribed for the hydrogen peroxide, the permanganate or the ethanol. tile or a heat proof mat can be used to help extinguish the flame if it carries on burning for more than a minute or two. When it comes to clearing away, all you need to do is pour all of the materials down a foul water drain with plenty of water. Make sure the ethanol is completely extinguished before you attempt to do this.